we're here in the Capitoline Museum in Rome, and here we are coming across the portrait of a Flavian woman. The cool thing about this, the, the character of this Flavian woman is that she's very eloquent in kind of how she sits and how she presents herself. And kind of to our modern eyes, we are seeing this hairstyle as something kind of crazy. But kind of in Roman era and Roman time, this would have been like the equivalent of just the hip new style. And it's interesting to note that the hair is actually drilled and not chiseled to create a more realistic corkscrew curl look. And we're going to be seeing more of that used in Roman sculpture later on. So being in the Capitoline Museum, we can kind of see that it is backlit and that you can see the details of some of the restoration that was done on it. Um, obviously, sculptures of antiquity were restored to some extent. And you can see that in her nose and a little bit on her neck. Historically in Rome, during the Republican period, most Roman portraits were of men and mostly elders in a super realistic style. However, during the imperial period, there's a much wider variety of portraiture, including portraits of women. Moreover, the literature shows that women were praised for their beauty, their knowledge of literature, their wit in conversation, and their accomplishments in singing, dancing, and poetry. So most recently, art historians have kind of started to think that this might have been carved 40 or 50 years later in the second century, but was carved in the Flavian style, and that this was kind of a first indication or an indication that the Roman Empire was looking into their history and seeing things that had been done in the past. And as we're looking at the style of the hair, it's, it's swept up, the back is in this ornate braid, and um, it really makes it timeless that it's, it's up off of her neck, and she even has a slight tilt to her head that adds a sort of feminine grace and really has made this a timeless and irreplaceable statue.